previously in the Sim universe. My name is Ladford Hemming, and I am a member of the Future Protection Agency. I finally found you, Freezer Bunny Man. Do you have any idea what you have done? You can't just time travel and do whatever the heck you want without any consequences. I hope you're happy because you may have just doomed us all. It's time to implement the system upgrade. It's the start of a new era. Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here with the Let's Play I've been wanting to do this whole year. Let's play The Sims 4 Rivals. So uh, yeah, Rivals is not normally part of the title. I'll get to uh, why it's called The Sims 4 Rivals. But <laughs> yeah, I'll just quickly introduce myself for those of you who are new to my channel. So, my name is Julian, and I do Let's Plays, uh, mod showcases, and some other cool stuff uh, for The Sims, and Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, other games as well sometimes, <laughs> died by laughter. And, uh, yeah, so, this is going to be Let's Play The Sims 4 Rivals, and basically, uh, Rivals is a really old formula I came up with. My very first Let's Play for The Sims 3 was called Let's Play The Sims 3 Dragon Valley Rivals. And that involved switching between two different households. There was one Sim in one household who was a good Sim, and an evil Sim in the household, uh, the other household. And I would switch between them every couple of parts or so. And it was a really fun Let's Play to do, and I thought, hey, I'll bring my channel full circle by bringing this formula back with the new base game. So yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, let's create a new household. It looks like Mortimer failed to <laughs> fix the TV, so he's calling someone else to fix it for him. Oh, there's another selfie. All right. Let's go in here. Oh, hey! It's Amber! Oh, okay. It's the girl next door! It's Amber! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. All right, uh, so I'm gonna quickly open the gallery because I already made this, my good sim who we're gonna play as for the first couple parts and then I'll make uh, the evil sims uh, probably after that. So the gallery spotlight. All right, yeah, there probably won't be as many game tips because yeah, this is like my second time recording this because my game looked really out of focus for some reason and then I went to the game settings and I went and checked off laptop mode, and then it made things normal, and then when I unchecked laptop mode, it was still normal. So, yeah, that was a weird glitch for me. Nobody else seems to have it. Yeah. Um, so, let's go to my library. Uh, there's Ladford right there. Um, oh, okay, this is like the different copy of it. I want to bring in the one that had like the profile and everything. Um... Uh, it's probably better to click like this. Alright. Yeah, so, Ladford Hemming from the Sims 3 Dragon Valley Rivals Let's Play Returns. The system upgrade between The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 caused Ladford to revert to his human form. Because, yeah, in uh, The Sims 3 series that he appeared in, because he was in uh, The Sims 3 All-Stars and my Into the Future Let's Play briefly as well. He was a ghost in all those Let's Plays, oh. but yeah, since... He kind of got upgraded with uh, the whole system. He's now a human again, which is pretty good for him. I think he's going to be pretty happy about that. So yeah. So for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, I kind of have a thing like the Marvel Cinematic Universe going, where there's a lot of continuity and stories tying together and stuff like that. So yeah, there's a little bit of continuity within The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, but hopefully not too much where it's confusing. I don't think it'll be too much. It's not too story heavy, but yeah, there's some connections, and yeah, it's <laughs> pretty exciting to be bringing back the first sim that I ever played as in a Let's Play. So let's merge and replace household. And there he is! Alrighty. So you can see his traits right here. Renaissance sim, quick learner, good, geek, and genius. And there's his voice right there. <laughs> and he has the swagger walk. Yeah. But yeah, we're not going to spend too much time in Create a Sim because uh, there's so many Create a Sim demo videos already. And 
uh, one of them being the video that I actually created Ladford in. So if you're curious and want to see how Ladford was made and how he compares against his human form in The Sims 3, well, I'll leave an annotation up on screen so you can uh, watch that. But uh, yeah, for now, let's just dive right into live mode. Please check this house. Oh, is it? Uh, I think it's an exclamation mark, so it's different from the other one. Uh, oh yeah, I can randomize the portrait as well. Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> All right, save and play. So yeah, there are loading screens in The Sims 4, but apparently they're like 10 to 15 seconds, so shouldn't be too bad. Um, oh, okay, this is interesting. Uh, the old household is still there. Uh, let's just evict the old Ladford Hemming, I guess. Or... What is happening? Why was there dramatic music? <laughs> well, this is strange. Uh... Uh... What? I don't know if this is the new Ladford Hemming or the old one. Uh, he's feeling fine. Um... Can we just quickly manage world or something? Uh... Save and manage world, I guess? <laughs> That's weird, I deleted the save that it was in, but... Um... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Unless it just assumed that I wanted to replace him. Uh... So yeah, yeah, the whole map view, it looks kind of like Sim City, the new one. Just reminds me of it with the whole icons and the whole uh, uh, color, non-color thing. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know, what else can we do? Oh, you can move out household, travel, evict household, change the lot type. Okay, let's go back in. I guess I can check his relationship panel because I had the uh, old Lafford Hemming in my first attempt. So, you can just check the relationship, see if he's met anybody. There's no relationships with any other sims. Okay. And, uh, oh yeah, I won't have any cooking skill either. Alright. Okay, we're good then. Um, oh, okay, you can resize the pal. Whoa, that's good. You can make it go all the way up there. I didn't realize that in the first, uh, recording. Alright. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's a plant right there that you can harvest eventually. So yeah, uh, I've made Ladford live in Willow Creek because I'm going to make the evil household live in Oasis Spring. So yeah, this Let's Play will cover both. Uh, is this a pizza delivery woman here? <laughs> That's cool. So then there's like a fishing spot over here. Can we like... Oh, okay, you can still like make your sim walk pretty much anywhere. It's just there will be a loading screen if you want to actually like visit another household. And uh, yeah, Willow Creek looks really nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad the game looks in focus now. Oh, there's still a frog here from the first recording, though. This is really strange. Is this almost like The Sims 2 with the saves? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> this is a whole new base game, and I gotta get used to it. So, okay, so uh, Ladford's making something. So the queue is actually in like the bottom left corner, which is something else they'll have to get kind of used to. He's making garden salad, He's smelling the tomatoes. Why? Oh! Oh, whoa! You know that was painful because of the effect that showed there. Wow. Oh, gosh, he did that twice to himself. That's not good. Alright, so he's making some salad. He looks a bit happier now. Um, let's see, I think I... Yeah, there's two different cameras. You can press shift uh, shift control tab at the same time to switch it back to Sims 3 camera, which, um, I think I've already done. Yep! I can hold control and quickly tilt and pan around and stuff. So it's 6.43 p.m. right now. So yeah, there's not gonna be too much date daylight left. Oh well. Um, so there he is eating salad. So right now his emotions is feeling fine, and the whims are kind of like wishes, I guess, in The Sims 3. He wants to start a new career, and uh, debate captains. Uh, so this frog, actually, to explain it a bit more, was... Uh, I found it in the public space. There was kind of like a log, and then 
uh, I had Ladford dig through it, and he found the frog, and the log disappeared, and there he is. So you can just view the frog and uh, put it in inventory. Nothing too special, unfortunately. It's kind of like the Sims 3 collectibles. You can still have a cow plant, though. That's kind of like having a pet. So that's at least something until the Sims 4 pets, or whatever the pets expansion pack will be called, releases. So yeah, you can see there's this public space over here that's just like a community garden, and hey, there's Mortimer Goth. Let's... Uh, a funny introduction. There's a sunflower, frog, and this terrarium. There's actually a lot of collectibles. Maybe I'll show you the collectible skill journal at the end, like I did in my first recording. Okay, they don't need to know each other yet. What's this sign look like over here? Oh, okay, it's like a community garden sign. That's cool. Yeah, this town looks very lively. That's cool. You can see the cars going by, which unfortunately we cannot own, which is kind of funny. It's how... There's like a car icon when you hover over like another residence, and you like visit residence. <laughs> but there's, we can't own a car yet, so hopefully it won't be too long before we get ownable cars back, because I really like having my Sims have their own cars and their own styles. Oh! <laughs> He's walking over with his salad! Alrighty then. Oh, it disappeared now. It probably went into his inventory. So, um, yeah, with the whole continuity Switch thing... Up. Oh, he's still talking with the play in his hand. So, yeah, multitasking. But, um... So, Ladford still remembers everything that has happened while he was in The Sims 3. But he's confused now. He's not sure what happened. He... He's, like... There's no other familiar Sims around. He never met the goths in The Sims 3. So, yeah, this is all very confusing to him. He has to kind of adjust to a whole new world. Uh, accidental Disney yeah. reference, but, uh, yeah. So he's just gonna have to make some new friends in this world, and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, should be very interesting. Uh, I don't know what I can do with this plate now, with this bowl. Can it, trash is, I guess, required to clean this up. Oh, man. Uh, can I at least drag this in? I don't think so. Oh, great. Hopefully, it, like... Sure resets at 3 a.m. this lot and then I can and then it'll like disappear because I don't want to have to go into buy mode and edit town or whatever and edit it there that'd be kind of annoying nothing to harvest at this time yeah I guess we're gonna have to wait a bit longer before any of these plants can be harvested what's this one Christ Chrysanthemum flower which is nearly festered with buds oh snapdragons I remember those from the sims too Normal potato plants, normal strawberry bush. All right, that's cool. But uh, oh, this sim looks angry. Katrina Caliente. So that's uh, Nina and Dina's mother, actually. She wasn't in The Sims 2, so the canon of The Sims is kind of rewritten. Uh, they don't know each other yet. Oh yeah, she's like, hey, whatever. <laughs> It's not. Um, <laughs> let's see some of the interactions we can do. Let's discuss world peace since Ladford is uh, is the good sin. Okay, Mortimer seems to like that. Let's share some brilliant ideas. You know what? I can picture them being friends. Definitely. I think they're both kind of like nerdy sims. So. That'll work out pretty well. Uh, he wants to hug someone from being happy. Yeah, he still has the same two uh, whims as before. Okay, so he's becoming happier, I guess, from interacting with Mortimer. Right. Oh, more choices. Be funny. Uh, you can tell a joke about monkeys. What? Card <laughs> the Christmas go. I have to successfully joke more frequently. Okay. Oh, there's some. Wait, I want to see this. So yeah, there's still the same hotkeys for the camera, just like in The Sims 3. I'm using the comma and period keys to rotate the camera. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's see if we can take a picture. You can also do tab mode. And there we go. Get rid of the UI right there. Ooh, man, I love the graphics of this game. That's probably one of my favorite things about The Sims 4 so far. Even before I started playing this game, I really liked that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. I expect the camera shutter sound when I hit the C key to take a scan, uh, screenshot, but that's not how it is. And there's more where he's like, hey, guys, miss me? Miss my adult self? The Sims do? <laughs> oh, I like the traffic lights over there. I wonder if they animate. I don't know. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, so I need pictures of Silver the Hedgehog because that's my uh, origin account icon, so. Yeah, Screech Talk can be viewed in the memory timeline. Alright, that's cool. I like how there's the headlights from the cars. Mortimer, I guess, is leaving now. Uh, it's 10.03. Okay, let's click on uh, knees. Whoa, all his knees are really good still. I guess his energy is getting low-ish, but it's not too bad. Um, can we do anything? Oh, what's, there's a cool road sign over here. <laughs> yeah, I like admiring little details like that. I don't know. I'm kind of weird like that. Well, I mean, in my Dragon Valley Rivals Let's Play, the first thing I went gaga over was the Dragon Sink, so I guess that's not too out of the ordinary for me anyway. Uh, I guess we should have him go back home, unless is there something for him to collect? Uh, oh, what's he doing? Uh, I don't know, I saw a skill meter for a second. Okay, he's just feeling fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about this plate. Can I... Oh, where's the inventory? Let me bring that. No, nope, I can't drag it in. Well, I guess that's gonna have to stay there for now. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything else to collect. Can I collect anything over here? Oh! Actually, you can dig. Ooh, fireflies. That's pretty nice. Let's watch him do this. Okay, so it does kind of show what need is in need, I guess. Because it showed the Zs for the energy. So it is getting lower. Let's see if he collects anything interesting. Uh, dog up a capsule. What could be inside? Let's find out. Uh, open it up. Okay. Oh, a my sim statue. Uh, okay. Oh, so you can even like walk down these paths over here? Okay, that's nice. Okay. I thought we'd be like restricted to the sidewalk still. But yeah, well, I guess there's a lot of space to run around. So it still feels sort of like an open world, but not entirely. Oh, hey, there's this tree over here. I think I know what this is. I'm not going to spoil it just yet for those who don't know what this may be. Uh, yeah, it's a very special tree that seems to stand out, but... Oh, okay, maybe it's not, but... Uh... Hmm. Maybe that's not it then. Uh. Oh, we can water it now. Will that do anything? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it, unless we have to wait a few days or something, or have more charisma skill. Alright, I guess I'll just say what it is. Um, so there is a special tree you can talk to, and you'll be able to go to a secret lot that you normally can't see. And there's one per neighborhood, so there's one in Willow Creek, and there's one in Oasis Springs, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we can't really do that yet. We can fish quickly. I doubt we'll catch anything, but we can try. Let's see if we can accomplish something else before it goes to sleep. Oh, there's a train over there! Yeah, that's so awesome! I like trains. <laughs> uh, can we scroll over with tab mode? Oh, that's cool, we can! So we can scroll pretty much anywhere with tab. Gotta take a picture of this. It's not too highly detailed, but it's still okay looking. I remember seeing this train in a picture from Sims VIP. Uh, yeah, the world is still pretty alive. So let's see if Ladford catches something. Yeah, this camera is pretty smooth compared to the Sims 3. It doesn't feel as jittery and stuff. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to go over to him. Uh, you can see some fish in the water there. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll actually show the, um, find the skill journal, or not skill journal, the household collection. So, yeah, frogs are out of 25 because the old lab <laughs> collected one of them. Uh, my sims trophies. I don't know what these do other than looking pretty, but, okay, buddy. There is no better psychic than your old pal, buddy. Supportive, optimistic, fiercely loyal. He'll stick by your side through any adventure. Last scene, Moonlighting is a special agent. Oh, okay, so he's probably from My Sims Agents. I'm very surprised there's My Sims trophies because I, I thought I, I thought they wanted to get rid of the My Sims brand because yeah, I thought they officially announced that they weren't going to make any more of those. But okay, then 
Uh, so yeah, there's um, yeah frogs. Uh, whoa, thirty-one gardening things. Twenties, nice and trophies, and then there's some medals, some crystals, elements, postcards, fossils, microscope, or microscope, microscope prints, space prints, aliens. So we can collect aliens, but we can't be an alien. It's kind of strange in my opinion. Uh, a few space rocks and some fish. All right. So yeah, that'll keep me busy until expansion pack one. <laughs> Oh, there's also another frog we could possibly get if we open that up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about this tree. Unless I am actually looking at the wrong one. Maybe it is in another neighborhood. Whoa! Oh, that was disgusting. He threw it back. Like some sea sludge or something. Oh, he's feeling uncomfortable from low energy, so he's tired of dress suit so yeah now is the uncomfortable emotion this <laughs> icon has changed uh i want him to catch something though yeah it, oh, oh no okay you know what i'm not gonna torture him too much let's just uh let's cancel this let him get uh the frog yeah now his walk style has changed because he's tired He gets another frog. Spotted leaf frog. Alright. Alright, let's go back over to his house. Um, yeah, let's just have him go here. In the meantime, I'll place this new frog here. Alright. Oh, I like it. Looks cool. Guess we'll build up a frog collection in this Let's Play. I don't know, this is generally going to be playing the game other than the whole uh, rivalry and interaction between the good and evil sims in this Let's Play, so... Uh, let's place uh, Buddy here, I guess. We'll get a close-up of him. Um, put the walls up. Oh, okay, you just click on it like that. Alright. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's follow Ledford back home here. Oh, can you like kick over the trash or something? Oh no, you still have to visit the residence, all right. But uh, yeah, I was actually impressed on my first recording that um, you can just walk all the way over here with no loading screen. Because I, I always figured the public space was like right next to the Sims house, but no, it's not the case. Oh, let's minimize this. There's relationships. Katrina is like nothing. Acquaintances and then they're acquaintances, but those more are a little bit better. Uh, friends, household, romantic. Okay. And then for the career, um, I guess we'll do that in the next part then, because we're running out of time now. Plus, he needs to go to sleep, so let's put the walls to cut away. Oh, he's already doing that. All right. <laughs> All right, he's one step ahead of me there, but uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I wish I made him go to sleep a bit earlier. That kind of... Whoa, whoa, what happened? Oh, he has to go to the toilet. Uh, alright. Uh, oh boy. I don't want him to fall into a night owl sleep schedule because I like playing Sims in the daylight. <laughs> He's feeling confident now. Um, oh, his energy's... Well, no, it's still like half full. Um... Yeah, I think I will end this part here, guys. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part. I am enjoying it so far. But, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he's asleep now. Yeah, I like the backdrop here. But, yeah, be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps me more easily keep up to date with the latest stuff on my channel, including this Let's Play, The Sims 4 Rivals. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of Sims 4 videos this week. I don't know precisely how many, but hopefully I can get at least two videos out today. That would be amazing. So uh, yeah, I will talk to you later, guys, and have a great day.